What's going on everybody? Hopefully your week went well. As promised, this is coming out a little bit of day late because I was trying to figure out a few things onto this. But we had a breaker from overseas over in UK who was breaking some uh, soccer who is now in question for was it a resealed product or not. Some of you guys have probably seen the video already because I know a couple people hit me up in comments on emails and everything. And I've seen this a couple days ago. Um, I I have my thoughts on to it as well and I'll share that. Uh, but with the video coming up, it's a snippet. If you want to see the video itself, uh, it'll be on Instagram. And I can't really say who the person is on Instagram because of the last word on to it. We'll get the channel um, striked, but card something, some or card something. You guys will probably be able to find it. I'll see if I can find a way to hyperlink it or something like that to where it'll be down below. But for the purpose of this video, I do got to blur out faces because, believe it or not, the one that we did a while back on Triple Play Sports. Yep, I keep getting hit with audit, audit, audit because of showing his face and. Everything else. I know it's the same person that keeps doing the violations onto it, but that's why we got the blurs on it. So with this here, I will be blurring out some faces onto the video. I do apologize in advance, but if you want to see what the faces look like and everything, I'll find a way to link it down in the description. I'll find a way onto it. Um, it's just that the last word on to the person's name on Instagram kind of gets flagged. So... But I'll think of, see if I can find a way to do it. Or if somebody wants to knows what I'm talking about, post in the comments and I'll pin to the top. Alright everybody, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the video. And I'll be back with a whole bunch of information onto this. Every part gets posted. I mean, you only had... Again, I'll try my best to save it. Why are they getting stuck? Look, I'm so sorry, Papa. Sick. I'm so sorry, Papa. Why are they getting stuck? I mean, it's a PC card anyway, but look at the state of that. That's what's been happening to them all. I don't know what's going on. Oh, why? Anyway, did, Aaron, why didn't any glue come in the second case then? PC card anyway, because go on, explain yourself, bud. Because you put glue in and it seeped seep over that's the edge of the pack. It's not it, that, that happened in way. four or five, four or five different. No, not even that. Six or seven different packs. So if I reset right. the second one, it would happen then as well. All right, one more, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing, Aaron. Mm -hmm. right, go on, mm -hmm. Aaron, go on. Just, just watch how easy this pack opens when he when he yeah. pulls on it. Because it's super what, good. Because I've cut the top off. This bit here. You ready? You ready? Are you joking me? It's a prison. Yeah, what, the easiest pack to open. Right, hold on a minute. Do you know what no, I'm why is that? No, say. Say, because I'll show you right now. Why is that? I'll show you as well. Because okay. they open. Open that pack. They're the easiest packs to open. All right, that's fine. They're the easiest packs to open. Yeah. So take the top off. All right, we'll take the top off. And then rip you it off then. Really I'm not just gonna go. I'm not just gonna go uh, 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 when I'm trying to open the pack. I'm opening the pack. Yeah. Open the pack. Yeah. So rip it from the top. Oh, that black. You are reaching, bro. You are Mate, reaching. I'm, I'm, tw I'm twenty stone, six foot three. Like so I'm 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 to the the then, bro. Jesus Christ! This is this is this is actually embarrassing. There you go. Well this done. is embarrassing. So, so when you put a bit of force into it, the pack opens. Mickey Sports Cards, ladies oh, you and gentlemen. Nice jet, yeah, there, you didn't rip it from the top, though, did you? You ripped it from the bottom. Anyway. I opened the pack, bro. This mind, is so, this is so fucking embarrassing. I'll be putting this for a break-up. It's going to be called the Mickey Special. Uh, yeah, sweet. The spots will be cheap as fuck, because I've already Listen, if you, it. if you put my name in it, you might sell more. Yeah, all right. Cheers, guys. See you later. Cheers, Dr. Kardashian. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody back at it here. So, 
I should have said this originally. I don't know who the guy in the top was of the screen. The guy in the bottom right was another breaker who caught this, from what I'm understanding. And the guy to the left that's blurred out is the breaker of this product. Uh, this did happen over in the United Kingdom somewhere. Not too sure exactly where. But the breaker uses scissors to cut the tops off the packs. It's a good way of doing it when you are like messing with stuff like no ore, um, trying to think impeccable, thick stock cards that, you know, there's, if you're going to pull it apart type deal, you could damage edges and corners onto it. So, I mean, I used to do it too when I used to get product like that. I just cut the top and then start the little tear go down the center. As you can see with the pack, in the middle, it easily pulls apart. He says that there's glue stuck on back of the card. Um, and there, there's some interesting notes on to this. And, wow. Just some uh, crazy stuff out there. I know a bunch of breakers who do break this product. And the other person that's on Instagram did also ask a lot of people. And they said it all doesn't look right. Because in no way do those packs pull apart from the middle open. And I can attest that from breaking through years, but maybe you had a faulty pack. It has come to attention now. A lot of people are saying that they break with this guy and they haven't gotten their stuff. There's even somebody was talking about, I want to say it was Color Blast of a player to where he had multiple of them. And all, all kind of stuff just coming out of the woodwork onto this right now. But the biggest point is, is somebody reached out to Panini and Panini confirmed these packs are, aren't, are not, I should say, are not actually sealed with glue. Instead, they're heat sealed with a crimping machine process. And if you ever notice, every now and then, you're going to catch that crimping on the bottom of some of the cards in the pack, that crimp. So, there should be no glue whatsoever, no matter what the excuse is that they're going to use onto it. There's no glue used into it. So, whether or not he did this or he bought it this way and somebody resealed the product on him and used glue, it's, it's definitely been resealed and been open. And then if you, like I said, when you look at the close-up view of the pack, the pack seal was already broken at the bottom of the pack before the breaker applied any pressure to it. I mean, I, I see it when you see it in slow-mo and everything. It, it just looks really, really bad. Uh, if you guys are wanting to see what the bre the breaker of this facial expressions look like, a lot of people are judging that completely that, you know, he just looks shady and everything across the board onto it. I can tell you, uh, very bad. And as I said, once like one scammer gets busted out there, or well, let's just call it a questionable break out there, a bunch more always end up falling. We just hit the one laugh. Well, actually, earlier this week, I believe. And now this is number two. Probably have one more, then it'll cool down for about two or three weeks, and we'll start seeing some more popping up. And I'm not trying to really get into where, you know, breakers are good or bad for the hobby part of it all. Everybody's going to have their own opinion on to that. I'm more looking at somebody out there is reselling product, and then they're pushing it out there. It's just bad. Um, it's a shame that, you know, all this is happening uh, with the hobby, especially a lot of the stuff with breaking. We got, you know, people who are still in pictures, making fake coin cards up and everything else out there just to get over on the system. And then we got to sit there and fight it. I mean, there was that, what was that guy's name? They finally just busted after like 10 years. Is it Danny Gold? I believe it was Danny Gold, where he was just stealing all these high-end cards. And guess what? Eventually, he started pulling up years later on his Instagram. Uh, crazy stuff that's been going on through the years with the hobby. And I know a lot of people will sit there and ask me, you know, different questions on, hey, I want to buy this from Instagram off of somebody. Do you know them? And I'm usually tell them no because I don't do a lot of transactions. But let me see if I recognize the person, card, name, something like that. If I was to deal with anything that's outside of my norm, and it's not somebody that I, you know, 
was, you know, given to me, like referral-wise or something, and I was even going to pay goods and services, I would probably tell them to invoice me in a way if I had no trust with them whatsoever. So that way the item specific is on there because we are coming up to the holiday season and it's going to get a lot worse where people are, you know, just basically say you buy a... Steph Curry Auto, and next thing you know in the mail, you get a freaking Joe Burrow select card into it. Not the card you wanted, but it shows it was delivered. You know, there's going to be all kinds of stuff that comes up as people start hurting for money over the holidays and everything else. So just be careful with what goes on out there and what you get into. If it seems too good to be true, it's the best thing I tell you it probably is. Unless you know the person or you've done multiple deals with and you feel comfortable on to it. I would probably always ask, you know, if it's a first-time deal and you can't go through something like my slabs or another platform just to get that original, you know, trust going with somebody or they don't, you know, your a couple of your buddies might have, um, you know, bought stuff or sold stuff to them, you know, just to where that's that warm and fuzzy, especially when you're starting to deal with more high-end stuff. But let me make sure I covered everything on my notes here. It's pretty much it. Um, I'll try to find a way to grab the... Oh, actually, I'll be able to link it down below. I will be able to link it because I'll go through the itsy thing to where it shrinks down the name and we won't get flagged. So that way you guys can see the actual uh, video on to it. You'll just have to scroll through the videos to find it. It's probably like the 5th, 6th, 7th one by now on there. But... Let me know what you guys think of off this offhand. Um, you may have to go look because I did, like I said, I had to blur out the faces onto it because of some of the other videos that I've done, uh, getting flagged and having to spend time to go back in and uh, what do you call it, blur out certain things and stuff. But you know, it's all part of the thing out there. You know, somebody gets busted for doing something wrong, and you know they want everything taken down so they can be what I call reborn into the hobby because they want to assume a different identity, find people that don't know them, and try to do something else later on. There's not too many people that I've known through time have done something bad in the hobby that have bounced back, that have been completely legit now. I mean, there were some uh, that say that, you know, when they were 17, 18, they did this, now they're like 35, and maybe, I don't know. But most of the ones I've seen you know, since probably like 2015-ish, they never bounce back. Never have. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good weekend. Hopefully uh, today I found some worthy footage at this card show that's at this, I think they call it the Awesome Flea Market I'm probably currently still at. And then we got a show next weekend too. Not separate either. I'm just going to go get some video, walk around, see if there's any deals to be made, stuff like that. All right. You guys have a good one. And I will catch you guys live next Saturday. And then also don't forget 5,000 subscriber giveaway will launch next weekend, either Friday or Saturday as well, too. All right. I am out. See you all later.